second. All right. So this hot tip is going to make your mouth feel good if you can put this hot tip in it. Here we go. Mr. J, look up. All right. Okay. So this one, just as, as I am, is probably going to be a little controversial. So I'm just going to give you my rules, and everyone's welcome to disagree. So the tip, the takeaway is about um, – is that you should really put some thought into your uh, file name style. So, like, the names that you name your Excel files. And this may seem like a stupid thing, um, but I have seen so many weird file names that people don't know uh, what it is when they look at it later. So I'm going to offer you my tips. Some people have disagreed with them, and you're welcome to disagree, but it's something to give a thought to. So one moment, and we'll jump right to that. Okay. So here are my file name style rules. Um, and the thing to remember is that in some cases you can't get around these things, but this is really this one's really important. So I re really like to connect words with spaces. So don't jam things together. So a lot of people will say um, Excel tutorial and they won't put a space in between. So you really should. I mean, there's no reason to combine it into one. We're not in DOS anymore. There aren't any of these um, character rules. And on top of that, um, you know. It's not a variable name. So you're allowed to use spaces. And I'm very big on readability. So also, and not just to keep harping on this, that's why I'm very big on good variable names in your code. So um, you should abbreviate proper words or proper nouns, not words. So if I have like the cost analysis reporting system, I can turn that into cars. But it's not a good idea when you say chart X say, um, or chart example that that should be chart X. And the reason for that, now you may think, oh, well, I know what example is and I know what X is. but when you're working in a company, some people don't, and there's different. Some people have different rules for that. So I like to say, don't put those in your file names. Also, following with the spaces, a lot of people will use underscores. I'm not really sure why underscores are still hanging around. Again, this seems to be a relic of of the DOS era. Um, dashes the same way. Periods. Um, I'm not even sure that you're allowed to put periods in there. So. Uh, the other thing that I'm very big on is if you're going to put dates in there, use some sort of delineation. Don't just jam them all together. And this, by the way, you may think, oh, well, I know what this is. But I've seen worksheets where people are putting unique IDs in front of them. So this is not a good idea. And then this is my own personal preference. And by the way, I'm just going to go back to this delineation idea um, of the date. When you save it and you're looking at the folder in the details view, it's going to have the date on it. So look at your folder in details view. You don't really even need to put the date in there. And that really gives me, uh, really brings me to the next point, which is about artifacts. So a lot of people will put dates or they'll write working copy or, you know, if the last one was breaking, broke. Um, but when I am making an Excel uh, dashboard, I often just use one, two, or three just to delineate um, the, the SQL, the sequential um, saving period. So if I have something that I want to save and I want to try something new and I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it, I'll save it as the next one in the series. Um, obviously, I don't send it to the client like that, but this is a way that I keep track of artifacts. And again, if you're looking at it in detail view, um, using a sequential naming system is always going to put your last one or your, your most recent one at the top or at the bottom, depending on how you've sorted it by name or if you sort it by date. It's the same idea. So this, these are just things that I think make my life easier. Uh, and I, you can give them a try. And if they make your li life easier, you should let me know. If they make your life harder, then I'll just say rudely that you're not doing it right. Um, but actually, just to really hammer this point home, it's worth uh, thinking about your file names. And this is something that gets virtually no coverage uh, from any of the blogs that I've seen or really any, any of the books. So, um, and we know it's a problem. The Spreadsheet uh, Risk Interest Group, I think it's a Eurosprig, talks about problems with archiving. So this is something to think about. And if you take away nothing else, just please put a space. Please, please put a space um, between words in your file names. Bill is making a face. I think he disagrees. No, I love every one of those tips, except your dates should start with the year and then the month and the days. So that way they sort in a proper sequence. No, you're right. That's actually a good idea. No, I, I feel like I knew that, um, but I didn't write that correctly. So, no, do that. Do what Bill says. So ignore ignore my thing. So what do you think? Including Ron? the uh, leave out the uh, option explicit. Do that, too. <laughs> Okay. Right. All right, you can do it. Do it at your own peril. You can leave option explicit out, but I can't be responsible. All right, we weren't going to hold you responsible for our misspellings. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that three sriracha bottles because that that is something that we do need to think about. Now, right now, it's not going to um, cause your Excel to crash or anything, 
So it's not that hot of a tip, but it is a hot tip and something that people do need to think about. What's the record? What's the most number of Sriracha bottles I know we've ever gotten? The most you can get is five. That's real. Yeah, okay. th th three Sriracha is, is like down there in my area. <laughs> well, 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 so, so, so Jay Lookup is trolling. I like it. <laughs> I'm an everyman. You know, I don't, I don't Catherine, have to buy Srirachas. Catherine Schmidt is saying Jay Lookup is a Jay Looker. Oh, That's my wife, everyone. I guess she's she's on the text. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, she's cheating. That's just the ringer in there. Okay. Uh -huh.